The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. The following contest is a triple threat. Tables, ladders, and chairs match. And is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger, representing D-Generation X from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple time WWE Champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. The Texas Rattlesnake looks ready to hunt. Now oh, buckle up, we are about to see a fight. Let's go! And introducing the challenger from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's got a short fuse and one heck of a temper. Yeah, he's the real punch-first, ask-questions-never type of guy. As always, condolences to anyone who gets in his way. Ladies and gentlemen, the People's Champion is here. I can barely hear you, Saxton. The WWE Universe has come unglued. Oh, you know why, Corey? It's all due to the power of the Brahma Bull. And introducing the champion, representing the Rock and Suck Connection from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. The WWE Champion, The Rock! No rest for the weary amidst launching movie franchises, owning a football league, launching countless products, and so much more. The Rock truly does it like no one ever before. It is always a special moment when the great one comes home, the WWE, to lay it to smack it down. He's the trailblazing, eyebrow-raising phenomenon. The great one, ready for action.
Career defining night for these superstars as the WWE Championship is up for grabs in this. Tables, ladders, and chairs match. A completely unpredictable match, especially with Triple H, The Rock, and Steve Austin. You're a sitting duck in a TLC match. If you really want that championship title, you better be the first one to grab one of those weapons. He's heading back to the ring. Dang. He saw it coming, taking advantage. To the outside. This could get wild. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. What impact! Right in the kisser. Oh my gosh! Boom! And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. TLC matches have often been a hotbed for offensive innovation. Think we'll see any new ground broken here tonight, Corey? I definitely hope so. Like you said, Cole, TLC has long been the mother of invention in WWE. This is a great opportunity for these superstars to leave their mark on this industry by finding a whole new way to put some furniture to good use. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. And now with him going for the table, we're just in straight up appetite for destruction territory here. He gets back into the ring. Triple H grabbing a weapon. He made it all too well. The dreaded sledgehammer. Steer clear of that. Neckbreaker. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. I don't know what they're looking for here. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. A steel chair, something we all know can be a devastating weapon. And the pitch, and he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. He's got one thing on his mind with that chair, and it has nothing to do with lounging. Crap trying to get a quick victory here. Not a bad strategy. Taking a bit of a chance here, Cole, and not a very well calculated one either. I don't know. Climbing the ladder at this point seems to be a bit ambitious. Well, it's never too early to try. Well scouted. Table behind him now, not where you want to be. Look at this. That ladder is positioned perfectly. For the victory. Kenny and Hogan. Guys, I'll be amazed if this is where the match ends. You and me both. And did you hear the impact of that? He's in the line of danger now. And he goes into the rank. Good gravy. He might never be the same after that trip through the table. Yeah, that looked particularly terrible. I don't see any way to come back from that. Bad instincts are lost him. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Ooh, avoided the attack with an empty chop block. Heading back to the ring. Reigns down an elbow retaliation. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Placing it against the turnbuckles, but why? I don't know. Big time throw one. Good grief. Got a lot of ways thinking about when he sets it up here. Rolling outside, and he's looking like he wants nothing to do with it. Ooh, man, what a hit. He returns to the ring. Full speed with the ladder. 
He's setting up the ladder for something, guys. Yeah, the question is, what is that something? some help from the millions of fans that from the top while the high risk doesn't pay off saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow gotta find a way to get out of this the championship like he did. He came out here and defended what was his. You have to give him credit.